Now you're one game away from potentially a, a place in the last four of the FA Cup. What is it with this season and cup competitions? Well, I think it's something that the manager instills in the players that he thinks every game's important, you know, and his importance in every game, you'll see that with the changes he makes. He doesn't really make them willy-nilly as, as, as such because he thinks it's important that you, you show the respect to the competitions you're playing in. And we've put this thing with the players that take every game as it comes along. We know it's an old football cliche, but we think it's very, very important because if you lose focus on anything, but then you get a bit sloppy and then that's when you end up getting knocked out of competitions. Whether it's league games, cup ties, and you've got to have this winning mentality. Obviously, the manager was involved at Rangers. Andy Watson was involved at Aberdeen. I was involved at Celtic. So you get into situations where you were used to getting into cup finals and winning trophies, and we've tried to instill that in a group of players here. Obviously, the cup's fantastic. The opportunity to go to Wembley. But obviously, we're going there in the League Cup, and we'd love to do it in the FA Cup because it's something special, you know. And as kids, that's what all the players dream of being in the FA Cup final. So hopefully, we can achieve that as well, and that'd be a fantastic season, that's for sure. What is a, the FA Cup like as a player to play in? I loved it. I mean, I went to Norwich as a player when I was 32. I left Celtic, and I come down here, and the FA Cup was, is a great thrill for anybody to play in. I mean, I used to watch it when we were in Scotland. It was a big, big day watching the FA Cup final. To be actually going and playing it. You know, it was very, very fortunate, and as I say, I love it. And when it comes along, there's obviously a cup, final, a cup fever. It comes round about all the time. And I was lucky enough as assistant manager at West Ham United, we got to the cup final. So the only disappointment in that day was losing it. Obviously, when you look back and you can pick up and look at a badge on the, 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 your mantelpiece and say it's a winner's badge in an FA Cup final, what else could you ask for? Because you can have all the money in the world, but nothing replaces obviously winning medals. And as I say, it's a fantastic opportunity for young players to try and do that. Experienced players love that occasion. And as I say, what a wonderful way to end the season with winning a medal and obviously an FA Cup tie. Can you tell us a bit more about what your role is here at Birmingham um, as first team coach? Yeah, well, I'm very fortunate because I've done a bit of management, obviously, at Norwich and that as well. So you see it from both sides now. And I think I love being on the training pitch with the players. I think that, that's an uh, important thing. We've got a great balance with the manager, Andy Watson and myself. Uh, we, 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 we bounce things off each other. You know, Alex very open in that way and he gives us a, that major responsibility. He gives us a piece to say. We think that's very important. But once we go out on the pitch, it's the manager's final saying anything, you know, and that's very important. But he knows he's got that support base there. He knows we've been over the course many times before and we've all been there before for different reasons. I say, but we're always under pressure when we played with Celtic and he was at Rangers and Andy was at Rangers with him. So we know the pressures that go away running football clubs. And we've got to instill that in the players and make sure they're prepared for every game. And as I say, maybe that's the focus that the players have had. Well, I've got all my badges. I think they're, they're important. I mean, right through the pro licence, as I say, I've done them all. Your A's, your B's. i even done my certificate, even what you're allowed to get when you're a, a professional player. But I thought it was important. And I found it the most difficult because that is the learning uh, part of it. You're coaching the senior pros and telling them how to pass the ball and control the ball. But I thought it was vital that I take part in that. I think I'd done my pro licence about six, seven years ago. That was when I finally done that. But I keep going every, every year. I got up to the coaching uh, clinics and make sure I take part in that So and I do uh, coach a session up in the SFA up in Scotland as well so I think that's important so I can keep my end and if things trends change you're always aware of it. I've done it when it was playing I thought it was very important and if I would give any advice to any young player or any player aspiring player do it even when you're playing because it's amazing how much you learn about the game you know, not just your own game, but your teammates' games. You know what their their job entails in the team, their positional play, and I very much felt that benefited me when I was starting my coaching badges. And as I say, that ain't up while I was playing. And if I could give a bit of advice, that's what I would tell them to do: make sure you do it as early as you possibly can, because it's the greatest game in the world. There is bar none. And what you get from it is you get a long uh, career in it. You can get involved in it after you stop playing. And let me tell you, when you stop playing, that there is no no substitute for it. But this is the closest you can possibly get, having that buzz in the dressing room and preparing for match day. It's a fantastic life. And if you've got an opportunity, definitely go for it, because as I say, it's a wonderful, wonderful job.